live streaming is on. Ah, I'm on. Okay. So here we go. Ah. Hey, everyone. This is Tavana Evans with Guap Coin. And I said that I was going to do Get Guap Mondays. And one of the things that we're hoping to accomplish with Get Guap Mondays is we help you um, in the process of getting Guap Coin. Um, but we're also able to update you on what's going on with Guapcoin. Um, you know, as we we expand, as we get into more ecosystems, this is a place where we're able to announce that that you know what I mean and keep you um, informed. We're working on a lot of things behind the scenes. And one of the things that I wanted to begin is just pretty much explaining the process of getting into an ecosystem or making it easy for you guys to get guap. Um, I know there's so many cryptos out there and you see so much information and you get so much FUD and you think you know this and you think you know that, um, et cetera. But just note that behind the scenes is a total different story. <laughs> um, the funny thing is, you know, a lot of people have been, you know, kind of talking about Doge and seeing what was happening with Doge. And um, what they fail to realize is that even Doge just recently got listed into some ecosystems. I want to make sure you guys can hear me because some of you are here. Um, and if you can hear me, say hello in the chat, if you can hear me, if you can, because I'm broadcasting from new, and I just wanted to, um, hold on a second, hear me. I just wanted to make sure that I could be heard. I guess if I test it on here, I'll know. So just give me one second. And... I know that I'm being heard because I'm going to go to the Guap Coin official. And I know that I'm being yes, heard. Yes, I am being heard. Cool. All right. So, at any rate, hey. So, at any rate, um, we see other coins. And, you know, one of the things that people, you know, they talk about a lot is Coinbase. And I'm sorry for the back, the, the noise in the background. I hear my dog barking. But <clears throat> what they don't understand is that you don't get into these ecosystems without having the people, right? You got to have the numbers. You got to have the people. So what does that mean? So that means like step one, you have to build the community. The community is the most important thing. Um, you just don't go up to Coinbase and be like, hey, can you put me on Coinbase? You just don't go to these exchanges and like, all right, can you list me? Now, there are exchanges that you can do that, but there, it's a pretty penny to list on these exchanges. You're talking about anywhere nowadays, it's like $50,000 and up just to get listed. And then on top of that, you want to have some liquidity. That means you need to have some money flowing into in and out of these exchanges. So that becomes, you know, um, not much of an, an option to a budding cryptocurrency that's building the community, right? Guapcoin is building a community as just about as organically as you possibly can, can build a community, meaning that from the ground up, from the streets, we're getting you people involved. Um, and it's more than just money. It's more than just getting your money. It's about spreading the word and growing the community. Because as we grow the community, more ecosystems will open up to us and getting Guapcoin will get easier. In the beginning of any crypto, this is a geek's paradise, you know? So you go to other projects and, you know, you go to a new project and you get in on a crypto um, from the ground floor, and it's usually very difficult to get it. You know, it's not an easy thing. But guess what? They stand to make, you know, to get to be rewarded the most by getting in early. And that's what we want folks to do. We want to do everything we can to help you in this early process. We want you to get in early, and we want you to understand that this is the most rewarding part of a cryptocurrency. 
in in the in on the ground floor. Even though we've been around since 2017, we've you know grown our platform, we've gotten our own blockchain, you know, we've made it through some key milestones, etc. But we haven't really started um, impacting or getting the word out to the actual people, you know, since the really the beginning of this pandemic. The pandemic has been good to us because it has allowed um, us an audience with the people that we're trying to reach the most. And that, of course, is the diaspora. So, yeah, it could be a little bit intimidating. But the beautiful thing about community is we're here to help one another. You know what I mean? So we actually have we actually have a telegram um, and I'm going to post the telegram um, link here. And the telegram is filled with people who are able to help you out as well, right? Um, you wanna be careful. You wanna ask around before you just, you know, kind of join up with somebody to help you out. But there are plenty, plenty of people in the Telegram that are there to help you, right? And now we also have this great forum, which is Guap Talk. And although there's not a lot posted in there, it needs to be filled with your questions and your conversations so that we can reach out and we can help you and we can see where you need help. So I'm posting a link to that as well, right? So... The main way that we're gonna go over getting Guapcoin today is through Probit, right? Because we're on Probit and Probit is where, you know, you, you, you're probably gonna have your, your first contact with getting into this ecosystem and getting Guapcoin. We are working on other things, right? Um, but again, this is where we've been for a little bit. And this is where you can go to get some crypto, go to get some Glock coin, you know, and get a lot of it, you know, at a good rate. Because mind you, when we start opening up in other ecosystems, it may not be as much of a deal as you're getting it at the raw source, because we kind of call this like the, the plug or the wholesale place. Because eventually, people are going to start adding their fees and stuff like that in order to get Glock coin, right? So... In order to get into the Guapcoin ecosystem right now, you have to start out with another crypto. You got to start out with the granddaddy, which is Bitcoin. And the reason being is because it's been around for a long time and it's literally connected now through ecosystems that allow you to purchase straight from your bank account or your credit card. Now, people ask us, why can't we do that? Well, in order to do something like that, you will have to have banking licenses because this is like getting into money transfer. So you need money transfer license, banking license, et cetera. And you need money transfer license in all 50 states if you're going to be dealing with all 50 states, you know, your community. So you need that in order to um, be able to do a direct fiat purchase of cryptocurrency, right? So we don't have that right now, but that's okay. You can use Bitcoin. And nowadays it's easy to get Bitcoin. Like you can get Bitcoin in Cash App. You can get Bitcoin on Coinbase. And you can get Bitcoin through Simplex. Or um, you can download and install a BitPay wallet. And you can buy it through the BitPay wallet. And, and they're actually using something called Simplex. So I'm going to share that screen and I'm going to, I'm not going to buy any Bitcoin from Simplex. I already have Bitcoin that I purchased, but I'm going to show you the website and, um, and I'm going to share my screen again. So let me stop sharing this and I'm going to share my screen and excuse my dog barking in the background. I just absolutely knew she was going to start up. Okay, so, so I'm sharing simplex.com, right? And this is one of those websites where you can buy Bitcoin directly using your debit card, et cetera, right? Now, when you use these types of websites to buy Bitcoin, you cannot just go in here and jump and buy $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. 
right? You can't buy large amounts of Bitcoin right away. You got to kind of get in the ecosystem so the algorithms get used to you before they stop banning you <laughs> from trying to buy Bitcoin, right? And also be prepared on some level to do some what we call KYC, right? Which is know your customer. And that's actually providing some information to prove you, you are who you are. That's an indication that these companies are dealing with banking and banking regulations on some level, right? And most of these these in these fiat to crypto, all of these fiat to crypto institutions are doing just that, right? So if you look up here, you'll see there's a link to buy crypto, right? So they're literally, okay, so it's not simplex.com. They're going to send me to a partner to do it. Okay. So they sent me to something called chain bits, right? So the first thing that you're going to have to do when you go this route is you're going to have to put your Bitcoin address in. So that means you have to have a Bitcoin wallet, right? And I suggested that you get a BitPay wallet, you know. Um, there are other wallets, and I know there may be better wallets, but the reason that I deal with BitPay is because I actually have a BitPay card that allows me to spend that crypto if I need to, Right. So you can get some Bitcoin through BitPay. You can just download their wallet. And as a matter of fact, if you download and install the BitPay wallet on your phone, you don't even have to go to the website to buy Bitcoin. You can do it straight through the wallet, right? But if you go to the website, the first thing you're going to have to do is paste in your Bitcoin address because that's where you're going to be receiving your Bitcoin, right? So when you do this, you're going to go through the process of purchasing Bitcoin. Now, if you get stopped along the way and you run into a denial, a lot of times the first denial when you get when you're buying Bitcoin is a bank denial, right? So you know how your bank throws up red flags and they're like, oh, no, and they stop you from doing transactions and they freeze your card. That tends to happen when you start messing around in the big in the crypto ecosystem. So you're probably going to have to call your bank or look at your text messages to see if they sent you an alert and call or call them, tell them to unfreeze, telling you're trying to make a purchase, right? And also sometimes these things pop up because a lot of these sites are international. So some, sometimes that's what will trigger it. So you want to go and call your bank and tell them that you're trying to make a transaction and it was you and they'll lift that. So then you can go back to the same site and you can buy your Bitcoin, right? Now, I also mentioned that you can also go to in your cash app and buy Bitcoin. And since I'm sharing this from a computer, I can't really share my cash app screen, how it is. Um, you know, as a matter of fact, maybe we can just pull up an article buying Bitcoin on Cash App because they'll have some screens that you can see. Um, and let's see what they have here, right? They don't have any, I'm, I'm sharing a screen and they don't really have any pictures here, but in Bitcoin, you can buy crypto, right? You can go to the investing tab, you can tap on Bitcoin and you can buy. Now, what I wanted to make you aware of is that it's really super easy to buy it. However, we're drawing it, then they're going to put you through some KYC. They're going to want you to prove you are who you are and stuff like that. So if you're like some people I know and you have a cash app and it's not on your real name, don't do this because you may have a difficulty getting this Bitcoin out of your wallet. However, if you have your official cash app, um, you can click on withdrawal um, now or, you know, send, and now you can send it to an off wallet that's outside of Cash App. And that wallet that you're actually going to be sending it to is in ProBit, right? So I'm going to stop sharing this and I'm going to go back to sharing my ProBit screen. Now, I already have an account with ProBit. So one of the first things that you're going to want to do is create an account. You're going to want to register, right? And I'm clicking on register. 
So you put in all your information, et cetera, right? And I think that some people do the KYC in this process. It's been so long since I registered, but I would suggest you do the KYC anyway. And it's another example of having to prove who you are. So you may have to upload some stuff and wait to get approved. Um, a lot of times these sites are pretty fast about it. They will get you approved in a day in a day or so. And this is to be compliant. So you're going to find with most of these websites, you have to prove who you are. But later on, I'm going to tell you about some things that are coming to Guap after we do this, that um, you won't have to, you know, kind of go through all of this. You can get it the decentralized way in the future. Okay. So one of the things that once you're registered, you're going to log in. Now, it's going to ask you to choose some method of two-factor authentication. I always choose email, right? So essentially, um, see, I could set it up to a mobile number. That means it's going to send me a text anytime someone logs in and I'll log in. Or an OTP, it's going to send you a one-time passcode to do that. Um, I already, or you, you know, see, this is two factor authentication. So this is just for logging in, right? Let me, I'm going to skip and I'm going to go in. Now, if you set up two factor authentication, anytime you log in, you're going to have to get that information in order to log in. So I'm already in here. You know, I don't see any personal information, thank God. <laughs> but I'm going to go straight to wallets and I'm going to go to deposit. So you see, I went up to wallet and I went to deposit. So when you go to deposit, you're given all of the a, a link to get all of the wallets of the of the trading pairs that they actually have on this exchange. The first thing that comes up is Bitcoin, right? So remember that Bitcoin that you bought? Well, you're going to be sending it here. So if you look, I already have a little bit of a Bitcoin balance because I sent some Bitcoin here earlier today. But it has a place where you can get this deposit address. You click copy, right? And, and this is the address that you're going to put in the send of anywhere you got your Bitcoin and you want to send it here. Even if you got somebody else to get the Bitcoin for you or a friend or they're going to send you a little Bitcoin, this is the address that you're going to send them. Because when you send them this address, then that money is now going to go into this exchange. And once you do that, now you're ready to trade. You're ready to take and trade this Bitcoin for Guap coin, right? Now, also, you can look and you can check it out because you do have a Guap coin wallet up here as well. Now, if you haven't purchased any Guap coin, then this is going to be empty right? But if you've purchased Guap coin, then you're going to have Guap here in this balance, right? So I'm going to go back to Bitcoin. So you see, I have a little bit of, a, of Bitcoin here. This is a very nominal amount. Now, if you want to know how much Bitcoin you have in USD, and this is something that I find myself doing a lot and you're going to do as well. And I'm going to share another screen in order to you for you to see this. Hold on. So I'm going back to this. What I do a lot is I go BTC to USD. So that's going to give me a Bitcoin to USD calculator, right? So if I want to know how much, and mind you, we all do it. It's not like I have a Bitcoin calculator in my head. I don't know how much Bitcoin I have in USD. USD is the thing that likely you're going to know more about. So you're going to want to know how much in USD do I have in here? I said I spent a hundred dollars on Cash App. Now I don't know how much I have left because by the time you send it here, it's going to have you taking out fees and stuff like that. So I'm going to paste the Bitcoin amount I have here, and look. This is it tells me what I have. I literally have $63.15 worth of Bitcoin in my ProBit wallet. Okay, cool. Is that enough to buy some Guap coin? Sure is. So I'm going to go stop and let me go back to sharing my ProBit screen, y'all. Okay, so I'm back at ProBit, right? 
So the first thing that I want to do now that I have some Bitcoin in this wallet, and remember I said that there's multiple ways of sending Bitcoin to this wallet. I can buy some in, in Square Cash, in Cash App. I can buy some from BitPay. I can buy some from Simplex. I can buy some from Coinbase. Wherever I bought it from, it doesn't matter. As long as I have this deposit address, this is where I'm going to be sending it to. So now it's now in the exchange. So I'm going to click on the exchange link on the top. And this is going to take me likely to the main page of the exchange, which is going to be the Bitcoin market, right? But you're wanting to get Guap coin. You don't need to get Bitcoin. So you don't need to be in the Bitcoin market. You want to open up the panel. Now, this is if you're on a computer. If you're not on a computer, all of this is going to look different. It's going to be all tiled. You're not going to see all of this at one time. If you're going to be on an exchange, I suggest you get on a computer, right? Um, because it'll make it a little bit easier for this process. So I'm going to go in a search box and I'm going to search Guap. So I search Guap and I'm clicking on the, and look, it has a little star next to it. So I can actually star it and it's going to make it a favorite, right? So if I make it a favorite and I go to my favorites, then it'll come up. So I'm, I clicked on it and look, it's green. So it's up. So it's actually, this is the USD value, 17 cent per coin. Okay. So I'm going to go here. So it takes me to the Guap BTC market. So that means that the, the pair that I got going on here is with Bitcoin, right? Now, let's say I happen to have Ethereum or something else and I want to trade it. Can you do it here? Yes. This market has Ethereum. It has all of these various coins. If you want to use another coin, all you need to do is go back to your wallet, right? And whatever coin it is that you have, click on deposit. So if you got Ethereum, look up Ethereum, ETH. And it's going to give you a deposit address. Send your ETH there. If you got um, Ripple, look up Ripple. Boom. It's going to give you a, a Ripple address. Send your Ripple there. You know? Um, so you can use other stuff. It's just that once it gets in here, you're now going to have to change any one of those things into Bitcoin before you can change it into Guapcoin. So if I send Ripple... I can click on exchange or XRP, whatever you want to call it. Um, I can click on exchange and I can open this up and I can look up XRP, right? So this is the XRP BTC market because I want to get it to Bitcoin. So I click on that um, and then boom, I'm on the XRP BTC market now. So now I can take my XRP, and I can change it over to BTC. Why is this saying? Oh, good to cancel. Okay, I didn't know what that is. So this got my BTC balance, but it says I don't have any XRP because I don't. But if I did, I could put my XRP in here and then I could sell it and it's going to give me BTC. It's going to give me Bitcoin. And if you don't know what amount to put in here, you can do 25% of the XRP you have. You could do 50%. You could do 75% or you could sell it all, 100%. Click on 100%. It's going to sell it all. It's going to give me Bitcoin pretty fast, right? And if I want to check on if that Bitcoin has filled or that sale has filled, then it's going to show up under my transaction history um, as done, you know? If it's not done, you may have to give it a little bit more time. So I'm going to click on exchange and I'm going to go back because I'm going to get back to the guap market. But see, look, I favorite, I made it a favorite. So it just shows up automatically and I click on the guap market. So now I'm on the guap BTC market, right? So it tells me my guap balance. This is the guap that I already have in here. It also tells me my BTC balance. And remember, we looked at this up to see how much in USD this is, right? So I want to buy some guap. So what you're going to want to do is the easiest thing for you to do is to go to the order book, right? So you go to the order book. These are all the sales right now that are going on.
Now you can do some other funky stuff if you want to put in buy orders and hope that people fill it for the price that you say you want to buy it for. You're not, you may not get it for the price you want. So you may, if you put in a buy order, then you might wind up just your buy order sitting there forever and not being filled. But if you just come to the order book and you click on the, of course you want to go to the bottom order, right? Now, if you wanted to buy more, you'd have to go up, but you have to realize that as you go up, the price goes up, okay? So let's say you wanted to buy a thousand guap coin and I definitely don't have enough here, right? What I would do is I would click on that, right? So what it does is it populates the thousand guap and it also tells me how much this is gonna cost, right? And just for, you know what, and giggles, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go back to that BTC USD calculator. I'm going to share that again. Oops. Whoops, Daisy. Yeah. I'm going to share the BTC to USD again, right? And I'm going to put that, paste that amount here. And look, so it tells me that I need approximately about $137 in USD worth in order to buy a thousand guap coin right now. So you see how easy that is? Like it's much easier when you do it on the, when you actually do it on a browser, um, by the way, than when you do it on a phone. Now they have mobile apps. I'm not using the mobile app. I'm using the browser because to me, I actually always use the browser when I'm buying guap coin. I don't, I, I don't even use the mobile app um, because I like to be able to kind of see it like this rather than flicking through screens and getting lost and getting on a screen that I don't want to be on, et cetera. Right. So I have it filled down here and you know, I don't have enough, right? I don't, I don't have enough BTC to buy it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to lower it. So I know I have approximately $60, which still is like less than half. So I'm going to buy, let's say I'm going to buy 200 guap coin, right? So when I buy 200 guap coin, the price down here changes. And we know that this should be within my range because look, this is my balance right here. My balance is 0 0.00185995 Bitcoin right? And this is 0 0.0081. I mean, yeah, 0 0.0081. So this is actually less than what my balance is. And how do I know it's less? Because it got more zeros. So the more zeros you got, the less, the more zeros down here, the less Bitcoin is going to cost. If you had only one zero here, that would be a lot of Bitcoin. If you had two zeros here, it still would kind of be a lot. Three zeros is getting to be a little bit, you know what I mean? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click buy. And I hope this doesn't give me any problems while I'm streaming. Because, you know, this is Mercury Retrograde. <laughs> so I was like, I hope I don't click buy and it does something really dumb. But I'm going to click buy. Right. And look, these little pop-ups filled up. Order filled. Trade executed. Trade executed. Order settled. So that basically means it went through. I don't even have to wait. I now have 200 more guap coin than I did a few minutes ago. So let's look at my balance. Boom, it went up by 200 coins, right? So that easy, I was able to purchase guap coin. And again, this method using the browser, using the website, I think it's a lot easier than using the app for a newbie, right? You don't get as muffled and as confused and etc. It's just one, two, three. You don't have to sit here and try to figure out candlesticks and all of that. We're not trying to get you to do all of that. The only thing that we're telling you to do is to go to the order book, right? And you want to go to the bottom one because this is going to be the, you know, whatever. Now, if you want more coins, then you know you're going to have to go further up because this one right here is literally saying I have 800 coins and this is the price per coin, right? So, but does that mean you have to get 800 coins? No, it does not mean you have to get 800 coins. It just means that that's the maximum at that price. Once these coins are sold, 
then you're going to raise up, uh, the price is going to go a little higher, and now you're going to be on another level, and you have to click that, right? Now, these are sell, they're sell orders at the bottom, so they're constantly coming up here, you know what I mean? So if you, you decide that you want to wait, you can wait, you know, like if this, this goes, you turn around and this is all gone, and you're like, oh, it went up in price and stuff like that, you can wait and see if somebody, you know, drops some more at another price. But this is what you're wanting to look at. So someone says, to be clear, you do not pay a fee when purchasing the guap. There are fees um, that are built into the exchange, but those fees are in guap here on this market, right? So there is a guap fee um, and, you know, depending on what market. So there are fees, but they're, they're not high fees. You know what I mean? Someone asked about the fees. Um, now, what if you want to withdraw your guap? That's another question that people are going to have, right? So you would go to your wallet and you would go to withdrawal and you type in guap again, right? And boom, it populates it with how much guap you have, right? So you would put your guap coin address. This could be the address that you have on your mobile phone, or this could be your desktop wallet if you have that. And then you put the amount that you want to withdraw, right? Um, now, you're going to click withdraw guap, right? But it's not going to automatically withdraw. What it's going to do is it's going to send you an email that you have to click confirm in order to withdraw. So you want to make sure that you check your email. It could be in your spam. Check it, look for that email that's going to confirm that you can withdraw and then click withdraw and then the withdrawal will be completed. It's not going to go anywhere if you don't click that. Now, also, there's a limit. It says there's a $10,000 USD limit. This says USDT. USDT, by the way, is the tether to the US dollar, right? So it's like a dollar for dollar, right? So it's saying that your withdrawal limit is ten what is is under anything under than ten thousand dollars worth of guap in a 24 hour period okay now my withdrawal might be higher because i got verified i don't really know but i would suggest you get verified anyway right um now there was something else so i also wanted to go to the transaction history right again is a transaction history or oh, see order history right See, this was the order that I just did. And look, it says the status is filled. It was literally filled instantly. You know what I mean? Because, and the reason why it was filled so fast is because there are people standing by to sell this stuff. So once you, I say, I want to buy, it gets sold automatically, right? Um, now, if you have orders that don't go through for whatever reason, it's going to stay under the open order tab right? And that's when you start getting into your little tricky trading. I like to call it tricky trading, right? Because there are other ways to trade. You don't just have to go for what they put on the order book, like I said, and I'm not going to go into that because I ain't trying to confuse everybody. You, you don't just have to do that. You know what I mean? Um, you literally can you know, put in buy orders and stuff like that. So when it reaches a certain amount, then that order is filled like, yeah, I want to buy it for this amount. You can do that as well. What I showed you how to do is just the dumb, easy way to do it. And that's to come here under the order book, click on the last order, um, sell order up here. And you see this one now has only 800 coins because if before I had a thousand, but I bought 200 of them. So I could come here and I could buy some more if I have enough. Now, this says I have, still have a little bit of Bitcoin, but I already know it's not that much. So I might be able to buy 50. Uh, yeah, I might be able to find, buy 50 more guap. You know what I mean? So I put 50 here and I click buy. And look, instantly, my, my order is instantly filled. It says order filled, trade executed, order submitted. This is all what happened. The order was submitted, then it was executed, then it was filled, and now it's settled. So if I go to the history right now, it should show up as, um, as a matter of fact, there's another button. I need to go to order history and 
it's going to show up as complete. So if I go down here, look, this is the 50 coins that I just bought. Okay. So it's not that difficult. I think that depending on who you look at and which method they use, it could be difficult, but it's not that difficult if you want to get some guap coin. And I would suggest that you go to the exchange and you get some guap coin this way while it's still at the, where it is because you will be benefiting. Yes, you have to get some Bitcoin first. So I have another crypto to get into the ecosystem, but it's well worth it. Once you get here, now you got your guap coin. Now you're good to go and you learned a skill. You learned how to get to get some crypto on an exchange that it may help you in the future with another crypto. Um, you know, very simple. Now, I mentioned that in the future, there are going to be options. One of the things that we're working on right now is we're building a bridge to um, Binance Chain. So essentially, we're going to have a wrapped coin that's going to be pegged to Guap coin. So that's going to allow you to go into decentralized exchanges like PancakeSwap and all these other places and actually just trade, you know, um, tokens for Guap coin without doing all of this, without doing the KYC and all that other stuff. So that's one option that is coming to us. Another option that's coming to us is is guap swap. So we're doing a peer-to-peer -peer swap where people will swap coins with you. But I warn you, people can put their own price on the coins higher than what is up here. So you, when you go to these types of things, you're going to pay more for the coin. These peer-to-peer -peer exchanges, you're going to pay more for the coin, right? So you still benefit by going to the exchange like this and getting the coin rather going the easy route and getting it from someone directly. So I'm going to end this stream. I don't see any more questions. I'm hoping that someone has a question. They'll drop it in there but or drop it in the comments. I'll definitely make sure that I stay on top of the comments if you have any questions. And this is going to occur every Monday. So we'll talk about the, these methods. We hopefully have easier methods or other methods to do. But um, hopefully this was helpful to you and uh, we'll be doing more. So thank you. And we're wrapping it up.